It's week 12 of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Patriots and the Giants. All that and more coming up next. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They've been cooking these last couple months, winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14-2. and two. And anyone in the NFL today would sign up for that. On the other side of the field for the visit. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. Jones now to throw from his end zone. Completes it to Douglas. He's still on his feet. How about this? He's to the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are on the board first here this afternoon. And that's the type of play that will give your sideline some juice a long touchdown pass. And it's like a bolt of lightning, isn't it? So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. A first down carry by Allen. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And it's caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, a 22. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Looking to throw. Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Patriots have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Still first quarter, two... The Pats at the line, ready to go. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Well, this defense for the Giants, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. Yeah, they only allowed 13 points, and you can pull all 32 coaches, and I guarantee you they'd say, we'll take that every single week. But let me think about that for a second. Maybe there'll be one 
one contrarian that would say, give me 10. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. With it is Jackson. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Third and two. Back to throw. Jones flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Here's Bryce Behringer on now to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here's Jackson. Dances by him. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And they will take over first and 10. Now, following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Jones throwing on first down. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Operating from the gun, Jones. That one completes to Parker. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Jones, another shot here after the pick six. He's going to wind up and air it out. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. But whatever they called on defense, they made sure they were ready for the pass on that snap, made the proper adjustments, and helped force an incompletion. To throw once more on second and 10. Jones, throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Inside give to Elliott. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now Jones to throw on second down. He finds his man complete. That's Douglas. 
And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 14. That's good for 28 yards. Here's Jones on first and 10. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And the... This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Elliott going to get it again on second down. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Jones now throwing to start the drive. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster, and he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. It's a nice completion and a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got was just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. To throw on second and ten. Jones. And that is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Going up top. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. That'll go as a punt of 42, 7 on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Jones on first down. 
He finds his man complete. That's Douglas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And they get Jones for the third time in this ball game. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And he'll take it across midfield. And... The Pats at the line, ready to go. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. On first down, Jones. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though. Two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. That one fourth down here. That pass knocked away. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now Jones throwing on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A gain there of 30 big ones. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 22-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Touchdown! Devontae Parker, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So look. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw here is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, 
when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Meanwhile, Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. And yeah, they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. On second and goal, Jones eluding the pressure right. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Patriots. A great effort there with his third touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Pats get a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for the... Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Giants, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11-1. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, their luck may have run out as they fall to 4-7 and seven now in the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.